delicious. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 18 Road to Glory episode number I believe it's 46 today and today's episode we are going to be playing the rest of our foot champs matches for last weekend and on top of that guys we'll also be opening up our squad battles rewards and I think going into one draft which may or may not be very very unsuccessful unfortunately for you guys but the main purpose of this video today as you guys can see of course we do have Patrick Vieira now the team and uh, he really did help me this weekend he was a really really good defensive force and he was able to break down a lot of play but the main thing I want to talk about this episode guys is the weekend league the effect it's had on me especially since over the past 10 11 12 weeks I've played every single weekend league all 40 games no problems and um I think this weekend it just had its toll. I needed a break. I legitimately needed a break. Uh, it got to about maybe the 26th game mark and legitimately I just didn't want to play anymore. I don't know what it was. I like there was a point where I just clicked. I, I'm just like I'm done. I'm just done and I tried to grind out the games just to get the wins for you guys. But it was just so monotonous, so boring. It felt like each game didn't really have a direction. It, like, normally when I play FIFA, I like to control a game. And I like to put, maintain the possession and then go ahead and actually go ahead and score the goals and all that sort of stuff and win the match, obviously. But in the past couple of games, for me, especially over the last two days for myself... It's been hard. It's been rough. I think I'm bringing players out way too quickly. I think I'm pressuring way too much. And for that reason, I think I was playing bad. But I don't exactly know. And there's a lot of stuff that was going on in my head during those last couple of days. And I just don't know what was going on. And you guys will actually see that in the draft where we actually lose 2-1 in our first game. Which is actually pretty surprising. But um, in this game right here, guys, my opponent was shushing me from... He basically scored three kickoff goals. And it was pretty funny because I also scored about two of them as well. But um, we managed to come on top and it was relatively successful. But I just find it funny how he rage quit after shushing me. And um, it was a pretty fun match. But overall, guys... There were two reasons why I stopped on 28 wins this a week, and I could have pushed on to Elite. It was very, very possible I needed one win from four games. Of course, guys, I would have finished on 28, that means, and I had four games remaining. So I have finished 28 out of 36, so 28 and 8. Now, the reason why I finished on that was for two reasons. One... Team of the year is around the corner, and, well, it's actually currently here right now. We know the defense, we know the midfield, and we know the attack, and I believe the defense should be out. At the time of recording this, I only know the midfield is definitely Modric, uh, Kante, and who's the other dude? Kevin De Bruyne. And, um, of course, we know the attack of uh, Messi, uh, Ronaldo, and Harry Kane, but... Um I, we do, I don't personally know the defense, but I'm hoping there's like a Valencia in there, there's a whole bunch of other players, it'll be interesting to see how much they go for and all that sort of stuff, but um, I'm definitely going to be waiting until the full team of the year is released to open up all 500 K packs that we are going to be getting. And uh, that's the real main reason why I finished on Gold 1 this week. I wanted to get some 100k packs. I wanted to get some 100k packs for us to open. And I didn't think the Team of the Week pack this week was going to be too profitable. Just because there are going to be so many people that are going to be opening packs that the whole Team of the Week price is just going to crash. So that was the first reason. But the second reason was legitimately I just couldn't play the games. I was just so done with the game. And I think every player, regardless of who you are, hits a point like this. I think, um, I know a lot of the pros, like I know Gorilla said he was taking a lot of January off. I know a lot of the YouTubers, like I think Baton quit his uh, Road to Glory series because he didn't have, he, he just was feeling like there was just too much of a grind. I know Napo's taking it a bit easy. Uh, skills, of course, is doing skills things. He's just grinding out the game. But I just feel like... Those are the people are the people who's actually like their jobs depend on it. They just absolutely grind at this game. By the way, this game right here, this dude always beats me. Solving Source 493. I wasn't able to show his team because I missed it at the start, but I did show it at the like the the like the team screen if you got that. But um 
This dude is phenomenal. I don't know how to beat him. And I just think this game kind of tilted me over the edge. This was like our last game or so before I was just like, nap, I'm absolutely done. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to fix it, but... I'm done. I'm done with FIFA. And the thing is, is that I'll say this right now. And as you can see, I think we're on 26 wins with like eight games remaining there. And I've actually went two and two in my next two games, which is the pretty much, that's pretty bad to be fair. 50% from four games is not the best and uh, definitely not what you want. But we are going to open up our squad battles rewards. And as we do that, um, we're actually going to pick up Martial in the one of these packs, which is pretty good. And we think we sold him for like 12k. So that was all right. But um. What I do want to say, guys, is that I think everyone hits a sticking point in FIFA. They always do, because 40 games is too much. It's not um, healthy. It is genuinely just not healthy for the consumer. The consumer should not be playing 40 games every single weekend and be stressing whether or not they can hit the same rank over and over and over again. And yes, I have hit Elite 2, like, in the past three weeks back to back to back, and it doesn't really matter too much anymore what rank I get, besides I want to try and push them for Elite 1. Um, besides that, I don't think it's healthy. It's not healthy. You're playing 40 games, a weekend that's 13 hours a weekend that's one quarter of your weekend absolutely just gone and it's just not a healthy system foot champs needs to be reworked and i don't care what ea says about how oh, they won't be able to pick the top 100 and all that sort of stuff um you guys the, like the the it's just it's just not healthy it's just genuinely not healthy and i love the reason why i do it is because i love playing this game and i love showing my progress through the thing and i think i probably would play foot champs probably not the entire 40 and as you guys can see we did finish on 28 and 4 right uh, 28 and 8 right there so um that was pretty nice but um i think i would still play the games if it wasn't for me doing youtube it's just i wouldn't play all of them i play like 10 or 20 but the reason why I do this is because I love showing the progress and I love showing the ability to try to get players like this, Patrick Vieira, on a road to glory. We have a 91 rated Patrick Vieira who's worth 2.9 million coins. And that's the thing, guys, is I love the grind. I love putting in the efforts to try and get the best team possible. And I love showing you guys what's of, like possible just by not spending any money. But the thing is, guys, is that it's so, it just wears down on you. And I'm not going to say like we had a bad weekend. I think we had a pretty decent weekend. It's just that last couple of games, I was just like, nah, I'm done with FIFA and I can't play anymore. And I think everyone goes through that. I just need a reset and it will be all right. I think next week we'll be able to come back. We'll be able to do all right in the weekend league. It's just that this weekend, it was just too much for me. It was absolutely too much for me. And, um... Going forward, hopefully it's not, because of course we have monthlies, and monthlies are going to be huge this month. We are always, of course, five games ahead of the curve, so we can finish one weekend on 23 if we really, really need to. But right here, guys, we're going to go into a draft, and the first team, of, for the first player I managed to get in this draft is actually going to be the team of the year, Ronaldo. Now, I played a f the one game with him. He's not worth the coins. I'd say Messi may be worth the coins with the extra stamina upgrade and the physical upgrade. But Ronaldo, his card just feels like normal Ronaldo. It's not worth the coins at all. And, um... I don't know. It's just, it's just not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. The Harry Kane looks pretty deadly, though. I think the Harry Kane may very well be worth it. And I think a team of the year Kante is going to be an absolute menace. I do not want to come up against that in for champs. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty, pretty bad uh, to play. And it's just going to be a nuisance. It's going to be an absolute nuisance. Just chasing you all over the pitch. So, um... I'm not excited to come up against Kante, but yeah, guys, so that's the main reason why this video is coming out, and as you guys can see, we are 1-0 up here, we're actually going to lose this one 2-1, I was just playing bad, and I need some time to reevaluate my gameplay, so this is why you guys probably aren't seeing the new-ish content on all the Team of the Year stuff, is because, one, I need to take a break from FIFA for at least three days, just clear my mind, not play any FIFA, and um, I'll come back in the weekend league and we'll see how we do. But the second thing is, I need to play some divisions matches. I need to work out what's going wrong with my fingers, what's going on, why am I playing so rushed, so aggressive, and... Um, I'll take the time to do that. I'll definitely take the time to do that, and we'll see how we go. 
it's going to be a bit of a process, but I always hit this. Every single year, every single, like, three months, I always hit, like, a block in my head where I'm just like, this game is not clicking for me. What is going on? I need to work it out. And uh, right here, guys, we are going to lose in the first round, as you guys can see. I don't think I've ever lost in the first round in a draft this year. So, um, you guys can see how bad of, a f of an effect this game is having on my gameplay. It's just not good. It's not healthy. And, um... I need to, I need to, I need to calm it down, I need to relax, I need to stop thinking about it too seriously, and I just need to, you know, have some fun with the game, it's a game, it's not, <laughs> it's not like something big or anything, it's a game, so you just need to have some fun with it and enjoy the game while you can. But, um, yeah, guys, we're going to open up these packs, and as you guys will see very, very clearly, we're only going to make about 1,000 coins profit. So, um, not even profit, we're going to lose 14,000 coins. So, that draft was not very effective at all. However, guys, I am going to grind out some Divisions gameplay. We should get up to about a tasty amount of coins. And then the next upgrade I want to get, guys, is going to be David De Gea. I need him back in the team. Farman isn't good enough. David De Gea needs to be back in this team. He'll get Bailly on 10 chemistry. will be absolutely amazing. And then beyond that, I want to get rid of Rui Costa. I don't think he's good enough. Um, he's not good enough on the right wing where he's fast enough, he's quick enough, he's agile enough. I think Martial or... Um, who's the other dude? Martial or Lozano do a lot of a better job. And I could just sub on Lozano. That is very true. But um, I feel like it's kind of of a waste to just sub in Lozano straight away when um, you can have him have a bigger impact in like the 60th, 70th minute. I don't know about that one, guys. But I think those are going to be the next upgrades. We are very, very close to getting De Gea. As soon as the rewards come out, we should be able to get De Gea. And then, of course, guys, we have five 100k packs also coming up in this episode. Uh, series it's gonna be great i think it's gonna be fun and uh yeah it should be exciting but that's gonna wrap it up for this episode guys hopefully you did enjoy it sorry if i, I was a bit unenergetic i'm just kind of like overdone with fifa and i just need to take a break and i've also kind of just woken up so it's a bit early for me so it's not the best sort of recording time but it's all right and we'll get through it but that's gonna wrap it up for this episode guys hopefully you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to smash a big old thumbs up drop a subscribe down below and leave a comment as always i always read your guys comments and leave responses so always leave those down in the comments below but until next time guys i'll see you guys in the next fifa 18 road to glory episode so see you guys next time and peace